Alrighty, good morning everybody. Uh, really excited for today's cook. We can see what we got in front of us are some uh, beef plate ribs. See, we got four bone rack, uh, a lot of meat on there. Uh, there is a hard fat cap, there is some silver skin on it. So I am going to end up trimming a lot of this fat off, probably take the silver skin off. And uh, today we're going to be cooking these on the uh, Weber kettle I'm using the slow ones here. Also using my CyberQ Cloud because, well, why wouldn't I use it if I have it? And uh, this cook, and I have one of my subscribers uh, wanting me to do a rack of these on the Weber. So today we're going to do them on a Weber. Uh, so besides that, I'm going to get these things kind of sort of trimmed up. And I'll pick back up when I'm done doing that. So we'll see in a little bit. Alrighty, we are back. Uh, I just got done trimming fat cat. Let me show you. Got about a uh, bowl full of fat. I also removed the silver screen from the uh, bottom side. And there was also kind of like a little, it looks like a little bit still on there. But I'm but there was like a silver skin on the top side as well that I removed. Uh, there's still some fat in there, but I don't want to cut them in any deeper. So real basic, real easy rub that we're going to use. It's not pre-made. I just put some uh, kosher salt in a bowl. Uh, we're not going to put any olive oil on this today, but we're just going to go ahead and uh, sprinkle some kosher salt on here. Just like so. You know, like I said, no binder today. Um, be, I mean, it's going to stick just fine without the binder. So... Maybe just one or two more pinches here. I already got the bottom side and I already got like this and like all the edges and stuff already. But uh, that'll probably be about good. And then we're just going to go ahead and take some uh, black pepper. We're going to sprinkle some black pepper on there as well. And that's going to be it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire up the grill and I'll pick back up when we're down at the grill. So we'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, just real quick. I uh, figured I'd just make note. Uh, today we are going to use 100% uh, natural uh, lump charcoal. It's oak lump charcoal. It's the uh, royal oak. It's the red bag stuff. And you can see I got some coals going here in the corner. I don't know. It's about a dozen small to medium sized just ones. Uh, I am going to go ahead and probably let these burn for a little while longer. And then I'm going to pour a full chimney in. And then got the water trough full. Uh, you can see I got the cybercube cloud rocking. Fan plugged into the back of the grill. Dog licking the tongs. Life's good. So we will pick back up probably when we're putting this uh, the beef plate ribs on. So we'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, we are down at the kettle. Just put the beef plate ribs on. Give you a quick peek. There should be. Uh, I do have uh, three chunks of oak over the royal oak hardwood. And uh, the grill tent today we're going to be cooking at is 250. It's already like 1130. Uh, so I'm thinking at 250. I'm going to give you just a guesstimate here. At 250, these will take four to seven? We'll go four to seven hours. So, again, uh, set temps at 250, using all natural uh, lump. Got some chunks of oak in there. I don't know how long the all natural is going to is gonna last the charcoal. Uh, it tends to burn quite a bit hotter and quite a bit faster, in my opinion. I could be wrong, compared to like your Weber, or not not your Weber, but your Kingsford. So we'll just have to play it by ear and see how she goes. But uh, this thing is gonna stay shut now, probably for four hours. And I'm not gonna open it up for four hours. So we'll pick back up in, well, four hours. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, so we are right at the four hour mark. Uh, go ahead and take a peek, shall we? Oh yeah, as you can see I did just open these up uh, probably about a minute before I did a video. I did stick a internal or a food probe in, probably about halfway down into the thicker part there. Uh, internal in these right now are about 170. Uh, remember we have been maintaining the pit today at 250 watt. I mean I haven't, the cyber cube has obviously. You can see we still got uh, still got some coals left. I'm hoping these will be done in a couple hours and uh, I don't think I'll have to add charcoal. So we will probably let these go for another two hours and we'll pick back up. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, beef ribs are done. Not ready to eat yet though. They're done. Uh, they cooked at 254. I got the stopwatch up. Here we go. Six hours and 37 minutes. Uh, I did have to add charcoal about after five, yeah, well, after five hours. So, it, now since uh, these are done, they got the internal where I want them, uh, they feel right when you probe them. Uh, when you probe these, you just want the probe to go through like butter. So now what we're going to do is we got some of this pink butcher paper. We're going to try to pick these up. We're going to go ahead and wrap these and let them rest for about an hour. So once these are wrapped, uh, I will pick back up and I'll show you what it looks like when we cut into them. Alrighty, we are back. I let these rest for a total of 45 minutes. I was going to go an hour. But you know what? I am hungry. These things smell great, and I just couldn't wait any longer. So 
you know what? Let's just go ahead and do something I don't do all that often. Let's go ahead and cut into these right on camera and see what we got. Okay, there we go. Oh my, look at that, huh? Let's see if I can maybe do this so you can get some juices coming out of there. And uh, I mean, you gotta just, I'm gonna take a bite. Let's just try one of these. Wow. Smoky, moist, peppery, salty, about all the things you want with beef. Uh, again, 250 the whole time on the Weber. I think I said six hours, 45 minutes. This is about a three and a half pound rack, I think. And uh, I'm done talking. I'm gonna eat beef plate, beef plate ribs. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh, where are my both my thumbs? Two thumbs up. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.